right, the uh, infinite turn bug. I still want to try this fight again. I think I have a much better way of fighting it. The, the real problem is basically the board god or whatever it is. And I, it, while it might be top now, if they get another one and another Galatin, it's gonna be infinitely proper to take it out. So it makes sense for us to just push with that attack. Right, so I think we're gonna do it this way. We're going to try to keep it range because that's where we have a, a, a maybe not an advantage, but I think we're overall stronger there. Uh, we need to get rid of the Horned God basically. If we manage to do that, then um, we have a huge advantage on the ra range combat area. The problem is he actually is quite tough to take out. Twenty physical defense, sixteen resistance. Uh, we're going to have to throw all our casting power on this. So about maybe four seeker enchantments. That's half of our casting power right there. Then be generate. So about fifty-five spend on buffing and things like that and the buffing him so our damage does actually some damage and then we can bless ones. Uh, alternatively save the points for a heal but we're constantly being attacked so I don't think we have that luxury. The mass bless will basically... Ugh, fucking ear rape. It's a better investment. I can't lose any of the flying or really tier 3 or above units. That, that's, that's a death sentence. I can lose the wisps, I suppose. It might be better. These cannot contribute anything meaningful to fight, so I think I'm pulling them out. I'm figuring, do I, I, do I, do I need to buff before going in? But I don't have the luxury that the fight will end if I don't go in and do some damage, please. I can heal a limited amount, only a limited amount. It, it would be better to take most of the damage with the summon creatures. Uh, there, e there's things that I can heal quite easily. I think we can use the Eldritch for as a uh, sort of a bait for a lot of their range attacks. The Eagle Rider is, doesn't have the durability. Extra defense and resistance list. Hmm. And the bless is gone. Usually it's uh, not that easy to disjunct it. That's a bad start to the fight for us. Very bad. I mean, getting disjunct is one thing, getting it on the first try is quite something else. It doesn't fundamentally change our intended plan though. I have to go within strike distance. These, these actually have the best chance of surviving any kind of thing they are gonna try to try to throw our way. But 
They're gonna try to dispel our enchantments. aren't exactly going our way. I don't think they really did anything to us. I could go and start shooting at them. It's uh, a little bit dangerous. I mean, there's a limit to how much uh, damage I can take. Who did they fire on? Almost no one's taking any real damage. I'm just happy that they didn't try to dispel the seeker effect. Because if they succeed in that, I'll lose my only real advantage. Crap, crap. No, taunt. Yeah, the shaman and apprentices, if they exchange fire, will win that fight every time. And we, oh uh, yeah, we're regenerating constantly. Uh, this won't resur resurrect because it was. Uh... Does the tombstone mean it won't resurrect at all? It's a summoned creature. Uh, I noticed the Node Serpent when it died in the previous attempt that it didn't seem to have a tombstone, that thing. But there were a lot of dead people there, so maybe that wasn't the case. Uh, I know we need to take out the Horned God, but he's not really an op a viable target at the moment. That's a shaman. <sighs> yeah, the regeneration will win this. Uh, normally, we couldn't maintain this kind of a situation. It's the group that didn't get the regeneration that's gonna be a problem. Hmm. Should be able to do something useful. Again, um, they might get two guys with a single shot. Uh, I need to make sure that they're not gonna get more than more than that though. The problem is, if I go in the center here, I, I will get blanked. And that's, that's pretty much the worst thing that can happen to us. Now he's trying to dispel it. Like 
There's a limit to how much you can do. Not sure what the limit on him is. Yeah, I, I think I'm overestimating how much he can do with the cold light. Because the regeneration will see us through this. This is the one fight we can afford to just stand back and shoot at our own leisure. And I think he sort of knows that. Other seeker. We should aim for kills. Mm. It's a huge waste to shoot at that guy though. But who else is gonna do the damage? I don't exactly have area. Well, I do have area protect abilities. Lucky son of a bitch. I'm sort of wary about going here because I can get webbed. We're fairly well defended here. Uh, by the support units. Oh, you. you how lucky can you get? It's supposed to be... What is it? 25% and it... Jesus fucking Christ. Don't do my 5% my ass. I think we strictly speaking need the seeker, it'll just make the biting more faster for us. I'm holding on to the rest of the points. I probably have to be debuff the big tier 4 guys and their huge resistances to damage. Them doing the dispelling will just. It will extend how long the fight will take, it won't end. The, it won't change the end results. Yeah, I'm doing something like 9 points of damage with full 3 turns of shooting. Just... Well, if I get their brute spirit broken, they might get enough debuff when they type, start to take damage. And I think that's a moral negative. Minus 2 resistances too. And they still have a high morale. With minus 600 of their morale. They have a bard somewhere. Who the fuck is the bard? Are, is this the bard? I, I would assume. No, who the fuck is providing the bard abilities? Yeah. Are the shamans provide? No, no, you are providing it. Brew brother, very likely. No? Happening shaman. <laughs> we knock out the shamans, is that's gonna change? The shamans have to be priority target. Uh, 
we could stay here and fight it out. Not sure if it's worthwhile. He has they can entangle. He has entangle strike. That's uh, that's uh, quite a bit more serious of an affair. Yeah, fundamentally, I don't see any serious threat to us. He might be able to cast direct damage spells. That would be enough to change the balance. The problem there is that he, he would still have to combine it with other attacks to push through the constant regeneration that's happening. Right. That just, that just isn't enough. I need spells that lower their morale in these cities. The luck effect is just too drastic. I mean, it's it's favoring me too, but Jesus fuck that brutal. I need to be able to stun them a little bit. They can do a decent amount of damage. Son of a bitch. Kill her. They get lucky. If if, she, if he basically casts a proper spell on her, she's dead. Yeah, and they got lucky. You piece of shit, lucky bastard. The luck to the rescue too. So, but we, she needs a proper heal. And taunting. This is terrible. We need much, much of an extra damage on the Horned God. We'll be fighting the Shadow for a while. Although the Shadow can do, can't do shit actually. I'd still rather play the Shaman out of the fight. Try to flank him. Now might be a decent time to do it too. I should have cast and cast the weakness on him. It is absolutely vital that we survive no matter what. I'm sort of blocking them a little bit, not doing anything else. I don't think I need to attack the Horn God and the Eldritch Horror is in the most danger at the moment. Of 
uh, Eagle Rider in Reserve is over here in Strike, where they're vulnerable. Shooting the Horned Goddess and it's gonna achieve shit. Uh, we might be able to get the Blue Brothers out of the fight. Or not. Okay, I think we can basically do a lot of good on the next turn. Ah, I forgot about that one. And Entangle Strike. That's not too bad. We can take care of the Horned God. Right. And they're forced to attack too. The Shadow Stalker didn't want to kill the Horned God. He was trying to get the gluttonous piece of shit. Uh, the problem now is though that the Serpent is so vulnerable. I absolutely have to try to disable the Colossian somehow. We're way out of range. And the chance of that happening not even low anyway. I mean, we must still try. Might be just the edge we need, and he's done. 5% chance of success. Valuable time we bought to the for the serpent. I'm going to try to prevent these guys from being resurrected to heavily. I don't actually recall where they are. Horned God cannot be resurrected, that's a catastrophe. Ah, uh, what else? They might be able to resurrect some kind of weakling, but nothing too serious. I think I can still cast something. No. Right, that's okay, that's not too dangerous. We need someone sitting on the Glutton after he's killed. Not sure we need anything extra. I mean, lower his resistances or anything like that. We have such an overwhelming force here. But on the other hand, yeah, I think it might be better for us to just attack. Generated. It is fairly tough of a target. We need to make sure the shadow gets it, basically. Definitely be frozen. One hundred percent chance of success. I think that he had a natural weakness to frost.
Okay, you cannot move. You probably could move. I'm trying to move as little as possible so there aren't going to be that many resurrections anymore. my hero. Right. Not sure. I, I was trying to do something totally different. We'll give the stun effects a chance at least. She can still be rescued if the stun works. 85% chance of being whipped. Yeah, I'll, I'll take those chances. I need. He needs to die. On this turn, I might be able to get the hero back alive. Guaranteed, unless he gets lucky to guaranteed victory. If he gets lucky, we're in deep shit. Ah. Right, where are we situated? Burren Lab. Yeah, there's a couple of other larger cities here, and here's the leader. If we kill him, we have a few turns in which to take him, take his capital out, that'll be the end of it. Uh, we have to try absorption, even though it probably won't work. These are great cities for me too. And if I migrate, I lose all happiness with these guys. Not sure we... Actually, we could release as Vassal. Might be better. It's extra alignment on passive and raised happiness. Also, it will spawn an immediate army here to defend it. And I don't really need these cities to maintain my attack momentum at all. Maximum level for this scenario. Maybe projectile reflection. 50% of all range damage is received back to its source. They're constantly being uh, harassed by archers of some sort. Mend Magical Being might not be a terrible idea either. Uh, this would basically be a unit that can heal most other units in some fashion. No, this is the Sorcerer. But... Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Extra hit points. No downside to that. You absorb pain. This is the most annoying thing ever. The best thing, any damage dealt to the linked unit is reduced by 35%. So it's a automatic massive decrease in the damage the unit takes, and we have a serious health buffer, so it's almost impossible to just go through that in any kind of a short amount of time. Uh, I suppose rain strength might be our thing. 
monster slaying extra damage against me. That might be worthwhile. I'm not sure if they're technically monsters, but he seems to be using that type of enemy quite often. I think he's a hunter class or something like that, not the hero he has. Uh, we could probably make a push for the leader. We should. It's a chance to avoid a huge amount of fighting. Let's see what it does. Where he goes, that's likely where the capital city is. Breakthrough. Swimming, water concealment, resistance, frost protection, frost strength upgrade. I don't think we really have moral plot problems to begin with. Spirit protection, break control, um that's not bad, but I'll prefer this. Lightning Storm? The problem with direct damage spells on the global scale or strategic map scale is that they fuck your relationship with other races and the city. So it wouldn't be a problem, but they're all halflings and I have pretty much a use. To, uh, my core cities are halflings, so I can't screw that over unless I can. Be basically barely certain that it'll lead to the end of the mission. All friendliness on the battlefield are st statically charred, gaining static shield. All enemy units are discharged and suffer minus 20% electricity weakness. Fairly expensive though. But we are in desperate need of additional spells. Might as well develop something that to be useful. Do main invasion right? They have they have massive armies to war. Right? I think the biggest weakness is that they're stuck together with the Glottons, which are fairly slow movements. We have other forces in there. Alright, this is a fairly respectable force now. He's the only one slowing us down. Legendary Sunken City might be worth doing. Uh, we have most of the army that can fight there normally. Okay. Which army do we want to be able to be hasted? I, I think we want. We want the core army. Okay, I need to know a couple of things. I need to know what's in this city and what's in this city. 
so we're gonna have to split up. This is probably going to end up killing the scouts here. I, I can't. I need to know. Okay, this is a waste of time, and it's a decent army. I wish to aim for this, whatever that ends up being. What the fuck is that? It's just an army. Where the hell did the guy go? Ah, oh, there he is. But this isn't the capital. So killing him is sort of worthless. I think we should go deeper here. Maybe even go after some of these. Again, ooh. It, this has a population of 40,000. This is as big of a city as you can get. It's just... It's a Naga city. That's why I didn't recognize the subtle... Sort of Lens into the environment. What would that entail? I can't let all these army stacks combine. I'm attacking mainly because there doesn't appear to be a city enchantment here. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Again, we don't have a lot of things to win by getting this, but if it's a, it's not a properly developable city, it's just a place where you produce units. It's also, no one's gonna give a shit about what I'm gonna do to this city. I might as well if I can just burn it down. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. But it's a possibility at the very least. <sighs> Ah, right. So they're not gonna reach us yet. At least have a chance to decide if we want to do something. Incredibly vulnerable to web being webbed. <laughs> Eight defense. <laughs> hey, let's see what you do. And it's dispelled. They basically fucked over my hero, that's about it. And successfully taunted the only guy who I can really use as any kind of attack capacity. Well, I can kill that one. I need to try to web the other one. Which means you have to just... Die. 
cursed and severely poisoned. Just wanted him out of the way so I can do the webbing. 80% chance of success. He's gonna dispel it though. At least try it. But it's a 50-50 chance. Not like the matriarch is a uh, target I can take lightly either. I can't do anything about the matriarch. You have nothing that you can do. Realistically, what could I achieve still? A couple of strikes on the Galatan, which won't kill it. A couple of strikes on the Adventures, that might actually take them out of the fight. Right, they killed the hero. Underestimated how much the matriarchs can do damage. I'm surprised how easy the gluttonous are to web though. Usually it's like 50-50 chance on a decent unit, maybe around 60% on a tier 1, 65%. But on the gluttons, it's like it's hard to fail at getting at webbing them. But we definitely can stay here. We just have to give up these cities immediately. Uh, here's the problem. Yeah, I can probably kill the arch druid, but. Uh, there's the butt. It's not gonna really do much good. It's gonna come at a probably really high cost. I mean, I didn't notice any kind of a serious problem with their defenses here. We're talking about. No, actually, this is much suckier than they had in the previous fight. Yeah, uh, I'm much more... We, we lack the regeneration buff though, so that'll change things miserably. Yeah, it, it changes things, but they also don't have the attack enchantments here, so they can't really get rid of us easily. Uh, they, what they lack is offensive range power. I'm seeing two shit range units and then their hero. And if I can... Ooh, if I can play a level 18 hero out of the fight, who's still... He's way above the maximum level. Way, way above. If I can play him out of the fight, that'll hinder his ability to summon reinforcements and support his armies and fights. So if I play that right, I can probably achieve quite a lot of nice things. He does have a fire spinning attack. I'm gonna leave him alone for now. Where am I? He might not want to stay inside there and just take it. We have some reasonable defensive capabilities. If they want to make this into a physical fight. But they have the advantage on that front. Might be able to convert things too here. Not this one. Probably someone threw a spell anyway. But orcs, ogres, they should also all be. No, ogre isn't vulnerable apparently. But. The cavalry would 
queen. Probably the range you need to. So. Yeah, I, I don't see how I can possibly lose this. I might be. I might lose a unit or two, but not the entire fight. No, that's pretty much impossible. Are you cursed? Oil of skin? Yeah, skin of oil. Huge debuffs. Fire weakness. This can't go anywhere near there, you know. We're gonna stay at the background casting spells to support the others. I mean, I can try to debuff that. Dispel it, rather. That's not a big deal. We can use martyrdom to... No, we need to use martyrdom on one of the frontline fighters. Probably the shadow. I like using him more on the front lines. Anywho. Alright, so he's gonna cast a dispel every time I do something. Mass Bless might be a worthwhile thing to cast. He would focus on that. If he only tries to dispel my enchantments, he will end up winning that exchange. This will likely this spell in this will likely fail and it's very expensive anyway. Shadow Stalker is now incredibly, incredibly tough. I want to get it within strike distance of some of our enemies. It doesn't have a fire weakness, but it also doesn't have protection against it, so we'll have to be a little bit careful with that. Shock protection. No shock protection. You have shock protection. You have shock immunity. So you're the one we send against the King Shock Sir. I seem to be very happy basically doing nothing at all. Uh, I could try to dispel these, I'm not sure if it's worth my time. They might want to sleep one of their range units here, otherwise they might be thinking of charging uh, us. That would be pretty bad. Shooting at her because she's the tougher opponent. Not sure how I'm gonna ca counter her. We have our way.
Damage is frankly pitiful. Extra elemental damage. Extra defensive shields. Uh, we don't have a huge amount of options. Seeker enchantment is pretty standard and it's fairly good. They do have a lot of standard opponents too, so it will at least work on them. And he has a high priority on this dispelling that. Fucking this junk perfect success. I hate that. He's incredibly successful with this. I absolutely have to dispel that. I, I can't kill the matriarch in any reasonable amount of time. He's actually not that. Uh, off, I'd like to say, but at the same time, we don't actually have a huge amount of attack power ourselves. Mm, if I kill that one, they'll charge us. Would that be a terrible, uh, terrible option? I feel like I'm getting screwed over with those. Like the fucker has a 50% chance and that he never never goddamn failed with those. I need to get into a position where I can heal this one. Proper heal. She's going down. If she gets stunned, we can do a significant amount of damage to her. So even with her heavy protections, she won't be able to regenerate through this. We need to maintain some spell power. Degenerate it. Degenerate is a good one. I can maybe cast two spells. Static shield would probably be a good one, and then a seeker. Star blades. I'm thinking more of a meaningful buff at this point. Because this will very likely go into melee. And he has a huge advantage on that front. On the other hand, if I can maintain some of the Seekers, that's a, that's a massive amount of damage I can deal with. Yeah, of course, he gets lucky. So, 23 points of life, I think I can do that. Maybe, yeah, that's a pretty goddamn big if though. I, I want to kill those. It'll turn this into a melee fight, but that's acceptable. Yeah, 
little res repair some of it. I'm not sure if it's enough. Three points, right? They don't really have the mobility to damage us, but they're definitely coming out next turn. I need to be prepared for that. I'm gonna try and make a conversion attempt at this point. It's not necessarily worth it though. I'm doing direct damage. So many good targets. Okay, you're immune to shock, so the King Serpent basically isn't going to do shit to you. Yeah, this is how it has to be. What the fuck? Oh, I was... Why isn't he taking damage? Okay, he got a massive amount of spells, right. Uh, I might have lost lose because of that. And we can't stun him. Uh, you disable those. Yeah, 50% chance is failure in my book. Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> everything we tried to do just fucking fail, and everything they try to do succeeds. I know it's a random dice roll, but Jesus Christ, people. I think it's better for me to defend. Might be able to pull a rabbit out of my ass if I get a conversion attempt working. If not, we're going to just lose everything. Might as well gamble at this point. But nothing to lose. This spell and it works. Oh, right, definite load game. I suppose it's an indication of the fact that, well, we're going to have to rely on luck to win this instead of anything else. Uh, back click at the day. But like, everything that can go wrong went wrong. That's the top fight for you, to, for anyone to win. Though we haven't really progressed from this situation at all. I, I think that it's most sensible to still attack this leader. There was nothing particularly dangerous about that fight fundamentally. We just got fucked over by his luck. Our leaders are very vulnerable because of the skin thing. I think I should basically just focus on dispelling that. Not let it get uh, get better of us. If he wants to keep debuffing us, let him waste his points. We're in no hurry. Well, we're in a little bit of a hurry because we do have to make some attacks or what we'll lose automatically. But you get the idea. Trying to ra ignore that is not a good idea.
wonder who's going to keep retrying it. I'm still going to do the mass buffs and things like that. I mean, they're not easy to easy to dispel. At least it's costly. Yeah, he prioritizes the skin of oil for some reason. And curse. That's 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 fine. I just need someone to shoot at them. So the game the fight doesn't end on its own. Defense. Might as well bestow this to someone. What are your physical? Uh, yes. Physical defenses are okay, but not amazing. At the same time, I sort of relied on the node serpent. Thought he would be better, but he sucks. But that's because of the buff, not because of the King Serpent himself. Uh, just a huge, a half a dozen special abilities for that spell alone. Thinking how we're gonna play this. Well, I can cast something useful. Do I want to cast a seeker? Yeah, I suppose I do. Yeah, skin of oil is his fetish for some reason. Yeah, well, those one of those range units has to be taken out. Do as much damage as possible before the next one takes taken out. Play the AI for all his all his work. Luck favors us this time. More importantly, we're trading his spell points. You need to be able to stand up against everything. Shit, that's a tall order. So what are we gonna do? More seeker enchantments. I mean, I have. I can do it on the heroes too. The healer usually tends to have some other things to do. Uh, the main caster is constantly casting. So let's give it to you for now.
failure mass less, you still lose the casting points. Yeah, this is this is like the reverse of the previous fight or previous attempt. Everything, everything is going our way. Maybe even a bit too much is going our way. I mean, pretty much nothing has failed so far. Don't want to go within range of his attacks. The cold lightning is very good. Eels, he, he has basically everything covered. I don't want to go anywhere near that. I need to do something about them before they all come out. Uh, I think I'll save 40 points for that. I can make some of the status effects very hard to stick to our guys. Charm. I forgot about that, but he can do that. But again, a fairly good timing. We have two disjunction attempts we can easily throw his way. I think it works better if I go closer. Yes. back to normal. Uh. And there is a death sentence. are going quite favorably. Just need to avoid killing him. My biggest problem is the King's Serpent at the moment. He cannot be stunned. So if he comes out, we'll have to throw everything we have at him. I could probably go there and access a decoy for a few turns. He would be the correct guy to do it. Uh, doesn't have shock resistance. Mm -hmm. right. And we're relying entirely that they actually won't come out of there for whatever reason. I think that's a bit risky too.
Why not? This is good for us. Easy kill. Basically gave up that unit for some reason. I have no idea why. Okay, we can inflict stun, but... For some reason, the chances aren't shown. I'm guessing it's a 0% chance, so it doesn't bother showing it. That's the thing, very likely at least. Who can we shoot? The snake. Probably should shoot at something else, honestly. It's not like the others are not going to be a problem for me, even if I deal with the snake. Uh, yeah. Broken spirit. the snake left. That's a decent amount of damage, but it's not good enough. At the same time, we are gonna throw everything we have against the snake. Does that make sense? We can't do anything here, we have to... We basically have to, that's the thing. We don't really have a lot of options here. We even I know I'm doing pitiful damage, but if I can kill the thing one turn earlier than normal, or one strike earlier than normal, it'll be all worth it. He's by far the biggest danger we have here. Even the electrical damage will still be good enough. Oh, this actually isn't bad, but it's a single attack. If he moves, he can't kill anything. If he attacks, we'll survive. Right. He basically made the best choice for me. I can get an easy free attack on him. And that's basically the end of the fight. I mean, he can try something, but he doesn't have the firepower to achieve anything. Call Hush. Congratulations on dispelling... I don't even know what it was that we had. I 
can easily float there and go into a fairly good uh, attack position. I'm gonna screw him over a little bit. Regenerate. Minor damage, nothing serious, and he's so fucked. His resistance has have to be terrible. Yeah, physical weakness, frost weakness, fire weakness, shock weakness, 60 to 80 percent. Uh, who needs experience? Could we stun him? You motherfucker. Then get a few shots at him, but that's all. And it'll only lead to being shocked. I think I might be better off just trying to heal myself or our troops. There's a follow-up follow up fight very likely. This isn't gonna really solve anything. And I can't even reach him. Shit. I was sort of hoping to tie him down. Nasty little fights here. That's uh, they either go. They, there's no even real fight in these. They either go depending on a couple of dice rolls, clearly one way or another. Okay, this is a good city no matter what. Not sure, what we can do with this? We're all just releasing them as vassals in the hopes that they'll get a defensive army against our opponent. They do have more cities here, so do I should should I push here or try to go here? I'm inclined to push toward this direction. I think he treated to the closest city they had available, but even if he doesn't have uh, his uh, capital here, what he will have is a few cities that will are paying for his troops and their up their summon creature up. So either way, it will be costly to him if he will start to, start to lose things. I'm not sure if we should focus on Eldritch Horrors at this point though. The No Serpents are more useful in the offensive department. Uh, also, faster to actually get to the front lines. Right. Either way, I need to I need to locate where he has his. Uh, capital. So, you go east, I'll go south and west. Still, we basically, what, played a single turn and probably waste use of an hour of time there. War machines. To a builder and trebuchet. That it'll take some time, but that's a tough thing to beat. What happened here? We're releasing the city. Uh, actually, I'm surprised they didn't capture it. Yeah, they're they're drawn to the hero. All the all their capital could be there, so they're throwing everything they can in order to basically keep it safe. You can transport it somewhere else, but it's uh yeah three turns to do it. So by that time he'll be back. So it's too late to change now. Do 
I want to do this? The legendary side. Sanctuary of the Deep. Mermaids and Sirens. Deadly scream that deals damage to all units and objects caught in that attack. Domination. So I suppose I want to explore what's here. Yeah, th there. This is not too bad of a fight. I'll still do manual because it's closely matched. Uh, energy damage and a single frigate. It's basically physical resistance guys versus physical resistance guys and their mage support. So I think I have the advantage here. I, I don't see how this could possibly be closely matched. I mean the frigate isn't terrible but it's not amazingly good either. It's like a ballista with some extra defenses. I think it has a fire arrow attack too so if I group up too tightly it might be troublesome. But if I don't, it's sort of uh, not that big of a deal. Mm, I probably want to go on the offensive on this one. Can't stun them. That's a thing, though. Can stun the ship, though. So he's it's out of the fight basically. I don't think I want to put any resources on him anymore. I don't think they regenerate. Yeah, I, I, I just don't see how the fuck is this closely matched. There's nothing closely matched about this. Closely matched in what way? They have a numerical, numerical disadvantage with weaker units. I have no real vulnerabilities to anything they do. A siren. Um, spell and some research points. Actually, the money would be very welcome at the moment. I have current a lot of construction projects that are basically on ice because I don't have the funds to start them. Uh, siren might be a good. It's a fairly good unit, basically because of the dominate ability, and we might have a. But that's the only thing that's in, even remotely interesting here. Still, gold is just gold. I'm thinking of dumping this guy for temporarily at least. He can follow up, but he's currently slowing things down. And what to do with these guys? We need to push forward, we don't want to stop here for a second. I suppose they could also be moving toward here somewhere. 
dwarves in this direction. I'll do manual combat. The second I identify the capital, we're gonna just rush here. I rush there. They're gonna be spawning the leader there. There's no way we can take the city with the forces we have, or within the rather within the time we have. Do I want to attack it? Not sure. All little victories matter. I would hazard against this is their capital. It's uh it's massive in their border. It's also more or less where I would have expected it to be. I need a, some kind of shitty summon to verify that it's not in the center lower center part of the map though. It's one thing to guess, but I would really like to be correct. I would really like to know where I'm going. You lucky son of a bitch. He panicked, that's why he's running away. can't see him not being here. Uh, one turn for an Eldritch Horror. Yeah, these look fairly typical borderlines. I just don't see him being there. I, I don't want to commit to that. We have other army attacks coming here anyway. We need to outrun these. Yeah, this is this is a pitiful little village. This is not where his main forces are gonna be. The problem coming close to this city though is that it is actually very dangerous to do so. What do we need to Yeah, this is this is gonna be shit to us. But a lot of things are gonna be decided based on what the enemy does. I'm gonna try to just move my army through here. I have no interest in sticking around and fighting. They can send forces after me, but only a single stack at this point, and I think he's more or less focused on defending the Naga city, which I don't care about at all lose this at any second. Yeah, this is all trash. Secondary things don't matter. Randomly changes terrain tiles in target city domain. one. I guess we're gonna send it against these. But more or less it's gonna seem like it's a relief force. Can you reach that one? No. But we don't want to take it. It'll take a little too long to recharge. It's not here. 
good city though. But more or less the river still continues. So I don't think this I still don't think this is the wrong place to go. It's a gamble of a sort, I suppose. And we want as many troops here as possible. I need I need something faster to cast. Single turn phantasm warrior might be more useful. Although note serpents are absolutely beautiful when you have to do some things in the attack where because of trade omen. Minus 500 moral penalty within the city domain. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do at least one node serpent and go with red omen in storage. I, I don't want to fight against the lucky sons of bitches in, uh, in a situation where they have perfect morale. It's just it's excruciatingly painful at times. You don't rely on that. Eh, this time things will go my way, but. No, oh, oh, oh no, that one. Ooh. Right. Basically, have this. Basically, is a race to a place that might be beneficial to us or might not be. Uh, I don't know. I don't really need more research. We might as well move in that general direction. We could use some more money. Right, sunburst. Sixty percent fire protection for eight turns, fire speed, and explosive death for their next battle. Yeah, this is something the hero had. The uh, hostile hero. So he came from somewhere here. What I need to just locate now is where exactly. Is there another city after this? The border is sort of yeah. An army at the walls, but you're too late. The key turns, the door opens, and I shall ascend. Oh shit. I need to confirm the location. There it is, east there. Dawn Spring. I need to go one step closer. Yep, capital city, hero there. Defensive force is okay, but nothing amazing. And with the speed I'm approaching, it won't matter. You fortune alliance, excellent. So now they actually have to go through a stack of neutrals to get that. Vision range, fully restores movement, not that useful really. We are limited to being on water with this group though. I wonder if they left these areas undefended. There aren't that many units here. Do I want to stick in the water? Uh, I suppose I mostly could. They have a huge amount of troops moving around the border areas. But it wouldn't be out of place. But I think this is more or less just a distraction. Right. So we know where they are. It's not protected from my spells. I'm going to cast a summoning creature. And they're in pursuit. Thank you. 
I'm not gonna fight the fight on this session, I don't think that's a good idea. Very likely defeat. I'll... I'll see that. Because if I can kill his hero now, I can attack his city without the hero being there. And he has 65 points of life. Not bad by any means. But I'm not seeing anything too amazing either. So, and he attacks, so he does have to push forward first. I'm thinking of putting effort into actually killing him. There is a limited amount of damage I can do though. I basically have the magic fist which I can cast about four times. Uh, do you have he has a heal? Right, so it's not totally helpless no matter how I look at it. I need I basically need these two to attack him. If I just attack him now, he will heal and I achieve nothing. Might be able to dominate him too. So I think there's a lot of potential to turn things here are my but a chain lighting though I can prepare that but it's too spread out and I can only do it once he's gonna cast shit on me though but the eagle rider especially I think is vulnerable yeah he, he's not stupid he's protecting his own mess 24% um, I think if he's not defending he would be much more vulnerable Maybe we should try to just kill him I mean this isn't a terrible unit by any means it's, it's very good To attack from a position where they can easily flank me. And I do want to attack. Yep. Lucky, of course. Oh, lucky, 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 lucky. Although, if I can get a Hatling Eagle Rider to even to attack him, I might be able to push the damage to the point where I can just cast a spell on him and kill him. If I cast attack spell now, he's gonna heal himself. The thing is, he won't be going on the offensive. He can't entangle me. If he does it. Ah, we're fine. And panic, so. Are you actually panicked? I don't really know. Are you panicked? No, you're just entangled. I don't actually have a good idea what should be the best way to. The best thing to do here. Get rid of the entanglement? It cannot be affected because it's an entanglement. Ah, <sighs> yeah, this this went in the worst possible way, pretty much. What attacks does he have? It's the fire speed, electrical attacks, entanglement. Yeah, this is going to be a tough opponent to approach. He's gonna be entangled for a long time. So I could buy him time though. And that's not an empty thing. And at 
least I'll give them all the chances they can get, even if it fails. Lucky, you lucky son of a bitch. Lucky, 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 no one does anything. Except you. Well, this shit works both ways. The shaman is at least dead. Right, there's no way we'll... Well... Never say never. Can we cast anything? A single attack spell at this point. Alternatively, we can... Cosmic spray them. That's not gonna do anything. I could pop his attack capabilities now, and uh, he'll hopefully survive the next turn. Then attack that one with the spell attack doing extra work. It's probably not gonna work, but I'll want to give it a chance. The problem is he's gonna entangle me again. Ways it is attack turn. It was a good attempt though. He, he's dead. Any new abilities? I can attack once. Do you have resurgence? I actually should have probably checked that first. Let's regrow. Domination is possible, but it's very risky. I probably won't survive the next turn, though. So he's gonna get three attacks on me. And he's gonna get lucky. I could defend or try to take con control of him, but I think I'll just attack, see where it goes. It's a dangerous situation for him. He's probably going to heal and uh, regrowth and then do enough damage with these to kill me. No, he panicked. Can't do that. So I'll survive this turn. He escaped the entire battlefield, in fact. Right. Now things get interesting. Very interesting. I, I probably should have just attack. I can't do it. Reasonably three attacks. Uh, if I get lucky, I might kill him, but if not, no. Unless he panics. <laughs> He's dead. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. I'm dead too. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that he is dead. So he won't be. It'll be about three turns before he'll resurrect, so he won't be there to aid them in their most important fight. Right, I I'll leave things here, I'll just go through the this list. But most in okay. You can actually move more. Yeah, I I will not survive this. Nothing will survive these attacks. Uh I need to move on water, I think. Some of them can follow, but not all, so it'll again it'll start slowing them down. Any kind of a haste berry tree here? No. It'll be two turns before I can attack. Probably should move. With the aid of uh, another unit, uh, I can attack on the next turn. No, no, no. Oh, not even close. Haste berries anywhere? No. If I push myself a little bit, separate, I think I might be able to attack on the next turn. I'm not sure if these guys, staying with these guys is worth risking everything else. Although, you need to push forward too. Everything needs to be pushed forward. He won't, he has some defenders, but yeah, not. Nothing too impressive at the moment. 
Moral bones is for us. I yeah, don't give a shit about what's happening here. Do do whatever. Leaf Alliance. Chaos Rift. Uh, a little bit too late, about half a dozen turns. What will happen in one turn? Nothing that is all that useful for us. I think I'll go with... Well, things might sometimes not go your way, so Chaos Rift it is. Also, I'm not sure I want to do this. It's a fine unit, but the fine units are not really our problem. What I really need is something to cast on that city, so their morale is amazingly good. Can I just switch it to something else? A uh, dread omen. Conjures a dreadful omen, my negative population growth, and units that belong to the enchanted city's empire suffer minus 500 morale penalty when within that city's dome. That's a huge moral negative, so that could be cast at the start of the next turn. Uh, so, well, turn or two, it doesn't have to be at the next turn. The problem is, if I cast it on the next turn, it'll drain all my casting power, too. I, I think we're gonna go with the two turn, two turn approach. It'll mean I can cast it, not lose any casting capacity, really, and uh, they can pull in a the reasonable amount of troops. But, okay, I'm not exactly sure that's a good way to do it. Here's the fundamental problem, I guess. Uh, he might get the caster back. If I, The sooner I can attack, the less protected that will be. The thing is, also, I can't get all my... I, I would have to attack with a fairly limited group. Definitely ditch the apprentices for one example. But I'm not sure if the speed is still enough. Not quite. I'd have to pitch you. Yeah, that's something we can do. We would have to go with the heroes, a note serpent, and an elfish or against I don't know what few units at least and no casting capacity on the enemy force. But we're very vulnerable split up like this. Hmm. There's a lot of respectable defenses here. I think I could take them on. Not sure it matters. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave things here. This... Well, in a turn or two, hopefully we can play the red out of fight. That's more or less the goal. 